morning. Uh, I'm Andrew Benioff with Lenrock Group and the Lenrock Blog. Um, I'm here today with David Yeager, president and founder of the Radnor Property Group. David, thank you for joining us. Good morning. Um, a little background on David. He serves as president and founder of Radnor Property Group, which is a leading real estate development company with a specialty in forming public and private partnerships with nonprofit institutions. David has undertaken over $500 million in acquisitions and managed more than 7 million square feet of real estate projects. Um, let's start by talking about um, some of your recent mixed use uh, deals. So Radnor Property Group as a developer, owner, and asset manager of two mixed use projects in University City here in Philadelphia. One is in partnership with Drexel University and the other is with, in partnership with the Philadelphia Episcopal Cathedral. A nonprofit. When forming these kind of public-private partnerships, do you find that different types of nonprofits present different challenges? Um, and I guess as sort of a follow-on, how do you identify mm -hmm. those the needs of these each of these uh, constituents? Yeah, well, Andrew, that's a that's a really good question, and it's a complicated question. Um, our background is pretty much in economic development. That's how we started. And with economic development, there's always a, a community development piece to it. And that's how we pretty much morphed into this public-private partnership domain. Right. And what happened, it, or what happens in, in many of these cases, is that you really need to sort of be part of the culture, almost as a fiduciary in, in terms of trying to understand what the goals and objectives are for these various uh, nonprofits. And you've mentioned two very different ones, you know, a religious organization on one hand and a major university on the other hand. Um, with the religious organization, for instance, you're dealing with a client that particularly is not very sophisticated in terms of real estate goals and objectives, but they, they certainly know that uh, they need some sort of revenue stream. And with, um, with, real estate organ with religious organizations, uh, with dwindling congregations and, and so on, uh, there are a, a different set of challenges than you would have with a major university. So what we try to do is first understand what their goals and what their needs are and in many cases uh, educate them. So with the religious organization it was really more of a, an extensive hand-holding process and trying to educate them and advise them in terms of what their what their uh, mm -hmm. objectives should be. Mm -hmm. Whereas when you look at another major institution like a Drexel University which is very well healed, very well educated in terms of the real estate dynamics and what's driving. Oftentimes when we're called in, there's a particular objective already in mind. Uh -huh. And so what we then do, and, and with Drexel's uh, example for instance, their goal was childcare for their faculty and staff. Um, we kind of turn that on end by saying, you know, you can really maximize your revenue if we can create some sort of mixed use dynamic with uh, market rate graduate student housing. So uh, it, it all, it, it all I think the key is, is really try to understand what the culture is all about in terms of what the goals and objectives are, and then try to enhance your value by, by creative solutions. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. That's great. Um...